check it, check it, check it out. Yo, yo, check it out. What's up, guys? This is the real triad. How you guys doing? I am doing fantastic. Hope everyone else is doing great. First off, I want to say I am sorry. I know it's been a long time I've posted a video. It's, I know there's no excuse, but you know, school and work definitely adds up eventually. So today I have a video for you guys, basically a quick scope tutorial, and I'm gonna link this with as a, a teaching beginners how to snipe and um, learning quick scopers. Um, this video was actually requested by a guy named Patrick1995. Um, sorry if you're a girl, but from your name, it sounds like a guy. Um, and he asked, can you do a video on how to quickscope as I'm having trouble with it? So Patrick, uh, thank you for asking this question and um, requesting me doing this for you. Because sniping and me, I love sniping. Sniping I'm a huge fan of. And this is something, I'm not saying I'm a great sniper or anything, but this is something I can help you with. Because still to this day, I'm learning how to quickscope. So, first off, quick scoping as a playstyle, I wouldn't recommend because something quick scoping is not something you can do all the time. Not saying it's impossible, but it'll be really hard to stay consistent. So don't expect to do well every game if you're trying to quick scope. Quick scoping is more of a last result resort. Sorry. So it's more of a last resort, and a little bit of history of how um, quick scoping began. You know, every Call of Duty had a sniper rifle as a weapon. You know, as time comes, you know, the time to kill becomes less and less because everyone else starts getting better and better. So, you know, I mean, from you have to start ADSing to times where you have to run and just jump and fire, you know, or, you know, whatever. So, you know, eventually just, it, it came naturally quick scoping for the snipers, that is. And, yeah, so that's basically a short little history, you know, sniping fast because of, you have no choice. That's basically it. It's just in time, quick scoping came along when you had to snipe faster. So what I really want to say is that don't expect to do well from quickscoping. Um, it's something that you know not everyone can do and it doesn't even take a lot of time and a lot of practice. So I mean don't expect to just grab the sniper and like oh yeah I'm going to be quickscoping I saw the real triad tutorial I can quickscope now. Yes you might be able to learn how to do some of the basics but doesn't mean you will actually do well. So um, before I get along into my video I'm going to say in the description, I have two video links posted there. One being the sensitivity video, how to find the right sensitivity. And that could be for any gun, regular guns, shotguns, whatever it is, and snipers. And I'm basically explaining, you know, play style to weaponry. And the other video is the best sniper class. And this is kind of, that's more for advanced. If anything, um, for the third tier perk, I'd recommend, you know, the steady aim perk. That's more for beginners, if anything, or, you know, montage makers or whatever you guys want to do. So, for, this is going to be doing for, first off, for beginners, the basics. So how to snipe. <laughs> first you need to find what sniper rifle best fits you. Don't be picking up a bolt action like I have right here. I'd recommend something like the Barrett 50 Cal or something on that, along the lines. Just because it allows you to, you know, hard scope. And if you miss the first shot, you can go, go back in and, you know, without, uh, I actually let go. But you can shoot. If you miss, you can go back in and still stay and you can kind of burst or spray. Even though it's not good, it's kind of it's a good way to learn. Don't be the snipers that kind of lay prone in like this all day. You know, don't be one of those snipers, please. I do not promote sniping like that. So I recommend uh, semi-auto snipers. I also recommend finding the right class. Like I said, watch my video in the description. Like I said, steady aim is really good. So today, I'll be having the help of the Mrs. Triad over here. Oh, I flashed myself. The Mrs. Tri, uh, she has a Type 95 and a big missile on her back, <laughs> um, jumping around. So everyone, if you guys enjoyed this video, please thank her because she's going to be a big help right here. Um, this is the first time she asked help in this video, or any of my videos. So the Mrs. Tri. Um, so yeah, let's start with an opponent standing still. A pro tip, if that person's AFK, like right now the Mrs. Tri is, or if that person's camping and just hard scoping their brains out around the corner, and you just come up behind them, don't quick scope them. Take the second and aim and shoot. What's the point of risking a free kill, right? So yeah. Now it leads to the actual sniping for you know beginners and basics. Um, this is where steady aim comes handy. Do you see the crosshairs? Sniper crosshairs are extremely large, and with steady aim, it helps allows you to you know be a little easier 
for you to see, you know, wh which direction the gun's aiming, because sniping is not easy, and you only have one bullet to make a difference. All right, so um, steady aim definitely help. Finding the right sensitivity will definitely help. So let's see, aim that direction. You need to slightly aim in that uh, in the vicinity of the area. Because now this person standing there, you don't have to be exactly on target. You don't have to like walk like this. It's just like a regular gun, you know. But then see the difference right here. This, you know, you can't yet to aim slightly in that direction. While this one, if I'm hard scoping here, you know, I can go compensate different easily. While a sniper, if I aim here, it's hard to compensate the difference of where the opponent is. Uh, another pro tip: if you're sniping, don't walk. See, if you walk, it's a lot harder to aim your shots. Like I'm not moving the analog. See. But it's kind of bouncing around. If you stand there, it only sways a little bit and you can just drag the difference really easy. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, take your time to take those shots. You know, aim in the area so it'll be easier to get the shots on. So now with the help of the Mrs. Tri, can she run across for me? Can you go back in the tunnel and I'll tell you when to go? This is for a, a moving opponent. And moving opponent, basically, you aim ahead of them. So that allows you to walk into the shot. So the Mrs. Tri can run out right now for me. See, she walked right into my shots. I predicted that she ran into there. You know, I aim ahead. I, she wasn't in there yet. And then when she got into the crosshairs, I just fired. It's just that simple. Basically, aiming ahead for a moving opponent. A lot of times it's very hard to predict, but I mean, that's the game. It's basically a gamble when you snipe. Now, next is Lee is going to be drag scoping. That could be both for a moving and staying still person. Because every time you scope in, there's no way you're going to be on target. Like, even if I aim in right now, oh, I'm going to be on target right there, but slightly off target here. Basically, what drag scoping is that if you scope in and you're offset, just drag the difference. And I missed right there. And I got a hit marker. She's indestructible. <laughs> so, basically, what you got to do is that this really depends on your sensitivity as well. But basically, you just drag the difference. I mean, that was a quick scope right there. That was a little bit more advanced right there. Basically, drag the difference. Um, you have to really, like I said, aim in the area because if you aim really far away, you can't. It's hard to compensate the distance because you don't know where they are. Like if I scope in here, I don't see her. But if I scope in here, I can slightly see her. If I scope in there, I can slightly see her. And that's important for sniping because you only take that one shot that will make the difference. So. Um, let's get to the advanced stuff really in the end. So basically everything I taught you, you know, when it comes to aiming in the direction, drag scoping, you know, reacting well, aiming ahead. Oh, that's a bad shot. Um, basically you're gonna have to do it quicker. Everything you I've taught you, you have to do it quicker. And the reason why is because it's quick scoping, but everything, it takes practice right here. Like, it's something that you won't be able to do right away because it's a really quick reaction. It's a split second reaction, especially how how crazy it is. Like over here, the Mrs. Trad using a Type 95, and that's not easy to beat, you know? I mean, Type 95s are snipers, and snipers are more like water guns, if anything. So yeah, I mean, basically just do everything I taught you. That was a bad one. Basically everything I taught you, do it quicker. So hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please drop a like and or a favorite if you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy what I've been talking about, drop a like just because the Mrs. Tried really helped me out in this video. Eat that! Uh, all your dead bodies, teabag your dead bodies. <laughs> yeah, so practice everyone. Cause, oh, oh, type 95. Look at that, type 95. Oh. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, yeah, like I said, practice. Because this is something you won't be able to you won't be able to do it overnight. It's something you have to practice every day. 